if you find the content relevant then do like share and subscribe to the channel also hit the bell button to get a regular notification also do share your experiences and any suggestion that you have in the comment box hope you enjoy Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm recording this video as a part of the home stress series basically to help you psychologically to be prepared for the examination. Now, what I'm going to do today is tell you four things that could help you, you know, to improve your score in the exam. Four things that you should be aware about, which normally in the heat of the moment or in the examination scenario, we normally forget it. First, ensure that you select the question and it's very important you select and leave what people do in the exam is in the greek to score mode they tend to try to solve all the questions which is very wrong learn to leave questions okay. learn I and mean, if you don't learn to leave questions you will not be able to spend enough time on easy questions or medium level questions so learn to leave questions for example let's give you an example um, in an examination the initial questions were quite tough Okay, there were people who started solving the questions and wasted a lot of time on it. Because of which the later questions which were easy, they did not get enough time on it. But there were others who realized the initial questions were tough, did not panic, went about relieving the questions, and that helped them to get more time to questions that were easy or medium level. Even if the remaining questions are tough, you can always come back to initial questions in the second round. Remember that. Okay, but learn to leave questions. Don't just solve for the sake of solving. That's the one big mistake that people do. They try to solve every question, some more questions than required, okay, which ensures that they fall to the exam. Specifically when the paper is tough. Learn to select only a few questions and solve. Second is the ego issue. A very common mistake that people do. What people do is that once they pick up a question and they start solving, they don't leave it. If they feel I will be able to solve it, I will be able to solve it. And in the greed of wanting to solve it, they realize that they wasted a lot of time on the question, leaving little time for remaining questions. Learn to avoid this ego issue. And it's very common on topics which you're comfortable with. So if you're comfortable with a specific topic, you tend to spend more time on it. Be it logic, be it quant, avoid doing that. The moment you realize your question is tough, Learn to leave and go ahead. That's very, very important. Again, the same funda at first. You should be able to solve most questions on a question you can solve. There's no point wasting time on something not. If you're stuck, maybe go to it once. But you shouldn't be aware about when to leave a question. Second. Third, don't panic as far as possible. I mean, if I look at the whole thing, as I said, uh, I had a student who couldn't solve the first six questions in the pond examination. So he went to a pond exam, good student, first six questions couldn't solve. Did he panic? No. He said, fine, let me just relax. I know I could not solve six questions. I know I have to solve a lot of questions if I want to get a call. Just relax, took a minute, took 10, 15 seconds, and then started solving as such. Managed to score 99.73 percentile in the exam, got into IAM Bangalore, which is good. I mean, and it only happened because I did not panic in the exam. So no situation panic at no as well. Okay, learn to leave questions if it's rough. Okay, don't have an ego issue. Don't panic. All three are very important for you in part of your, you know, mentality in the exam. Be aware about this. And fourth important aspect in the exam is ensure that you go through all the questions. Again, in the heat of the moment of trying to solve more, Okay, panicking, we tend to solve almost every question, but in the end, a few questions remains and we have not even seen it. That's really bad. Ensure that you go to all the questions. Even just 10 seconds per con question, or maybe even half a minute for a DR again, but go through it. You should never miss out an easy set. I'll give you an example, my personal example. Remember when we went first time to give the CAD exam, the last five questions were simple easy ds questions i mean you could have solved each question in maybe less than a minute very simple questions okay 
But when I came out to the exam hall, I realized that a lot of my friends had not even seen those questions. They were so busy solving the initial questions. They felt they were getting more answers, therefore they were trying to solve more questions. They did not leave the question because of which they could not even see the last five questions, which are sitters. Okay. So ensure that whatever happens, easy paper, tough paper, you should go through all the questions in the examination. Because if the question that you didn't see is very easy, you will just miss out on a call for a good percentage. As I said, easy questions take less time to solve. Difficult question takes more time to solve. It makes sense to solve easy questions and therefore not miss out on it. As I said, my example, five marks, a huge amount of marks, which can make and break your performance in the exam. So ensure that you go to all the questions. So as I said, the first step, ensure that you select proper questions. Don't, you know, pick up every question at all. Second, avoid ego issues. Third, don't panic. When you panic, just take the 10 seconds break, close your eyes, relax and go ahead. And fourth, ensure that you go to the entire paper. If you do this, I'm sure this will help you to improve your scores. Thank you.